Mayor gave us a commitment that this building will be rebuilt. This fire ripped through the heart of Chinatown on the eve of the Lunar New Year. 70 Mulberry Street was a school for decades. Today, Chinese immigrants learn English and get job training in the classrooms. Lunch is served in the cafeteria to seniors, some as old as 100. And dance troops key to this weekend celebration rehearse their routines. I was really relieved that they were not there that night. They're supposed to come out tomorrow to be on parade. So now all the equipment is drowned. Uh, unless they can get new equipment by tomorrow, uh, you know, they're, they're kind of like their New Year's is over. On the second floor of the city owned building, the Museum of Chinese in America preserved precious artifacts, family photos, letters, even articles dating back to the Chinese Exclusion Act of 1882. Safety and people first, people first, paper second, but but papers important in this scenario is very important. Naturalization papers and photographs of Shirley Ng's father were in the museum. We're very heartbroken and very anxious to know what, what was still inside. The museum is also working to set up a recovery center in order to dry out these artifacts. People have also come forward donating freezers that will prolong the period of time they have to work with these papers. Eight firefighters suffered minor injuries. A man pulled from the fifth floor is in serious but stable condition. What caused this fire is still unknown. Mayor Bill de Blasio vowed to rebuild and promised to make space in other city facilities in the meantime for community organizations that lost their home. It will be back, but it's going to take some serious time to do all that. But the city is committed to bringing this building back to life and restoring it for the community and for the organizations. In Chinatown, I'm Christy Duffy, Pixel of the News.